Hello, my gorgeous Alfie Yukis, and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. All right, Spirit, what do we have for the week ahead for the sign of Alfie Yukis? What do we have for the week ahead? What do we have? I want that, whatever it is. All right, off in search of. Okay. Okay. All right, so this isn't a journey. This isn't part of the journey that's outside of yourself. Um, it looks like this week, Ophiuchus, you're kind of going within. You're looking within. You might be doing some inner soul work. You might be trying to nurture and love yourself. I feel like we're off in search of what is emotionally fulfilling. And instead of looking outside into the world to find someone to fill a gap or to um, kind of keep your eyes and your mind busy, um, you're, you're just taking care of what really needs to be done. Um, I really love that because it looks like you're going to step into, um, I want to say even more of your power. I want to say your intuition's going to get stronger. You're going to grow and expand. You're in that expansive energy, vitality. It's like you're glowing, you're happy. I feel like you're just putting the energy and effort in where it truly belongs. And I love that for you. That's gorgeous, gorgeous energy. Yeah, it's like, look, you have soulmates out there, but you're not focused on that right now. Um... I feel like you're not focused on offering your cup to anyone. I feel like if it were to come in, that'd be great. But I feel like until it does, you're not worried about it, right? Yeah, until it does, it's like we won't worry about it now. Um, there could be a specific soulmate that you're not trying to worry about or you're trying to heal from. Could be for some. Um, for others of you, I feel like it's just the point where we're just not looking for it but it actually might show up. It's like, I almost kind of feel like when you're not looking for it and you're loving yourself and you're making good decisions, setting healthy boundaries, passionate about where you want to be and what you want to do, that's normally when it comes in. Um, and I feel like that might be happening to you this week. Yeah, we, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, so luck could be on the upswing as far as um, just life and relationships go. I heard something about work as well. Work might be doing well. Yeah, here comes that opportunity. Someone really wants to offer you a cup of emotion. I feel like this is someone who maybe had to go through their own healing process first or they took a quiet period before they um, decided to step towards you. Wow. Could be something really special, too, with that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, takes a lot of strength. So it takes a lot for this person to step in your direction. Um, but I feel like they might be doing that this week. I feel like you're just doing your own thing. Um, I feel like really happy with yourself and, you know, what you're doing. I feel like... I feel like you're really content with life and what it has to offer. It's like, yeah, it's going to be ups, downs, and in-betweens, but that's great. That's life, right? It feels good. It feels great. And then you look around and something new is presenting itself. It's like when you decide that you don't need it, but you could want it, I feel like that's when it comes in. Yeah, that's when it comes in to be celebrated. I really love it. Yep, yep, yep. Ace of Cups. Here comes that love. Is there anything else? I want this, whatever it is. Hmm, some type of secret. There could be a secret coming out this week. Tell me about that. What is that? Is that in reference to the hanged man? Oh, this part, person might have, might be telling you why it took them a while to step towards you. The secret itself that's coming out this week could be just the fact that this person has feelings for you or they're interested in you. That may have been the secret. Um, cause when I'm seeing this hanged man, I kind of want to go back to, um, here, 
this uh, Four of Swords kind of has that pause energy too. So pause to do the healing work. This person might tell you that they had some type of experience. Maybe the two of you share similar past experiences. That might be how you know who this person is. Yeah, defeated in the past, but uh, not. I heard I don't live there anymore. So it's like, yeah, the tower in reverse. Been through some rough things. Uh, healed from those. Healed from those. Okay. I like that. Is there anything else, Spirit, that, that we need to know as far as off the Yukis for the week ahead? All right. Well, we have the sun, so happiness is coming in. I'll take that. Something about a... Oh, wow. Okay, look, off the Yukis. Amazing energy. I'm going to drop it here because I feel like we could keep going, but I don't feel like we need to. You've got a lot of happiness coming in. You've got what could be a Ten of Cups situation and a wish coming true. So emotional fulfillment could be um, a happy family between you and this person, could be something for the future, could be starting off, kicking off this week, um, getting to know this person. This might be the person you have a uh, forever with. Of course, it always takes two people to put in the effort, the energy. Um, I really love how we started the reading off that you weren't really focused on soulmates. You weren't really focused on looking for someone. It's like when spirit's ready, they'll send me the right person and I don't have to worry about it. You were so focused on just looking within, taking care of your stability, maybe homemaking, um, you know, just doing your own thing off in search of uh, fulfilling your own needs. Because when you fill your own cups, um, you don't have to worry about someone else coming in to fill them for you, right? And I feel like that's what you've been doing. And that's kind of the energy that's attracting this person in. Vibrationally, you're a match to this person. So I do get the feeling that this person may also take very good care of themselves. Of course, you can always say yes or no. I am just the reader. I just let you know what is coming. So you can make a well-informed decision about what you want for yourself, right? If you're totally content and you want to stay single, you have every right to tell that person, not interested, but thanks, <laughs> right? Thanks anyway. All right, what do we have? Initials, so your initials, their initials. I kind of want that too. We've got a G standing up, could be first, middle, last name. All right. have here. I heard something about Chanel. I don't know if somebody really loves Chanel. I am seeing a particular shade of red lipstick, red Chanel lipstick. So like the tubes, so that could mean something for someone. And I'm seeing the big perfume bottle. I see the number five. Um, so it could be something specific like that. I heard glow up energy, glow up energy. Um, you know, I feel like maybe that's the type of energy that you're in this week off of you guys. It's like you've just got that glow. People are noticing you. So you might feel like you've been through a glow up. I don't feel like it's anything you've done physically. I feel like it's all the energetic work you're doing. It's just kind of making people take notice of the beauty that's already there. Um, whether masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. It's just that people are seeing you. They're seeing the beauty in you. Um, I keep hearing things about golfing. It keeps on coming through. So that is for someone. I don't know if maybe you meet someone or you talk about someone while you're out golfing. Could be something like that. I almost kind of feel like I'm talking to a cross watcher. So, you know, cross watchers are always welcome in this read. You could find some of your energy in there as well. Things could be switched, flipped. These are general readings. So as always, you know, take what resonates, toss the rest. I heard something about a Jeep. I don't know if your person maybe has a Jeep. You want a Jeep. Could be something. Yeah, I'm seeing a black Jeep in my mind or like a blue Jeep. I 
there something about RPNs? I don't know. I'm hearing something about pets, dogs specifically. Somebody might have a dog. I'm seeing a masculine with a, it's like being really sweet with a little, I want to say it's a little uh, girl dog, like really sweet and kind of cutesy, but this masculine looks to be pretty strong. <laughs> it's a cute image. It shows how soft this person actually is. It's like big and strong, but still very, very soft and loving and kind. Something about a garage sale. You might meet somebody at a garage sale. You might have a garage sale. I heard before the season's up, so could be someone. All right. All right, let's see. What do we have? I'll really mix them up good here. What do we have? All right, for off you guess, we have a commitment or the opportunity for a commitment. I'm not surprised with what the, the cards were saying. Um, your person could be coming in this week. Could be something that takes you throughout the holiday season. I'm seeing angels and gingerbreads and it's like, I'm seeing all sorts of Christmas. I'm seeing like a happy, happy Christmas type energy. Um, and it's cute, we have the get along shirt. I don't know if someone is coming in. Now, I, I almost kind of feel like this is a lover's quarrel type in this situation. So I don't know if this is someone from the past coming back in. Could be for some. Um, and you may be spending the holiday season with this person. This may be the, the beginning of a commitment. What is this? I can't see what that is. Oh, it's an infant holding a fish. So new abundance is coming in. This could be very new abundance. Um, this could be a new opportunity in work that becomes very lucrative or something that grows. I'm seeing 10 of pentacles in my head. So I feel like this is something that has the opportunity to go full term or long term. This is this has longevity attached to it. Yeah, um, it's something to do with masculine energy as well birthing something new. You could be a masculine energy getting ready to birth something new. This could be the birth of a child for some of you. Could be, doesn't have to be. Only take it if it resonates. I hear parenting and then I heard uncling. So I don't know if there's an uncle out there who really enjoys being able to have fun with the kids and then send them back on their way, right? Um, something like that. That's really cute. Um, you know, I feel like somebody is flying very swiftly into their future. I feel like there's, I, I want to say this abundance is coming in very quickly and very soon. I want to say this could be for any one of you who are listening in here, whether you're an off -eucus or if you are just listening in for an off -eucus, this could also be for you, strangely enough, right? All right, that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.